Hi, I'm Ksenia Trukova. Today, the Russian opposition politician Ilya Yashin was sentenced to eight and a half years in prison for YouTube live stream about the atrocities in Bucha. Vladimir Putin, in response to a question from the journalist, said, Yashin, who is this? This is one of the favorite Putin's rhetorical tools, devaluation. Putin has been using this manipulative technique for many years while talking about his political opponents. Actually, none of his remarks about the opposition could do without this technique. So immediately after the sentence to Yashin was announced, journalist Andrei Kolesnikov asked Putin to comment on it. Putin interrupted him. Yashin, who is this? After a short pause, Kolesnikov answered, blogger. He didn't say politician. Uh, this word, blogger, refers to the personality of another political prisoner, Alexei Navalny. Representatives uh, of the Russian government and, first of all, the president are known to avoid mentioning his name in public, but they are actively using substitutes uh, that devalue Navalny's figure. The list of synonyms also include, includes the phrase unknown blogger. Uh, in a comment about the poisoning of Alexei Navalny, Putin also used the devaluation technique. Who needs to poison him? If they wanted to, they would have brought it to the end, Putin said. Using a rhetorical question, Putin seems to make it clear, I am not afraid of Navalny because he has no political power. However, the diligent avoidance of the name of the opposition leader makes us think about just the opposite. Putin's comment about Navalny is very similar of his comment uh, about uh, journalist Anna Politkovskaya, who was shot dead in her apartment building in October 2000, 2007. Politkovskaya's influence on political life was minimal, Putin said, adding, Politkovskaya's death did much more harm to the country than her articles. So Putin devalues her work as a journalist who criticized the government. Talking about Boris Nemtsov, who was shot dead on the bridge near the Kremlin walls, Putin said he chose the path of critical struggle, but I'm used to it. He's not alone. But it doesn't mean that a person needs to be killed. End of quote. Finally, one of the most well-known cases of public devaluation was uh, Putin's dialogue with uh, the leader of a famous rock group, Yuri Shevchuk, whom the president asked to introduce himself. Uh, what is your name, excuse me? Shevchuk then responded in Putin's style, applying ironic devaluation to himself. I'm Yura, a musician. Devaluation and the humiliation of those who disagree with him have firmly entered the set of Putin's manipulative techniques. It's difficult to say whether he really underestimates the opponents or probably this is the case of Navalny fears their political influence. And uh, it does make sense as uh, the events of the past 10 months and the experience of underestimating the whole country show.